Hi students, in this video we are going to learn question number 4 from exercise number 9.1. The angle of elevation of the top of a tower from a point on the ground which is 30 meter away from the foot of the tower is 30 degree. That is angle of elevation is 30 degrees given. Elevation means from the bottom we have to look at the top that is called elevation. If from the top we are looking into the bottom now that will be called as a depression. Now let us take a tower. So the straight line it is representing the tower now. The angle of elevation of the top of the tower from the point on the ground. So this is our ground now. So from the ground, from the point on the ground we are taking angle of elevation. So this angle of elevation is given as 30 degree. Now one more value is given. Tower which is 30 meter away from the point on the ground. So the distance between the foot of the tower and the point is 30 meter. Now, what is the height of the tower they are asking? Let us take H as the height of the tower. So, let us take any alphabet A, B and C. We are going to take it now. Any alphabet you can take it as a vertices. Now, definitely you should denote what is it. So, A, B we are going to consider as a tower and the C we are going to take it as a point on the ground. Point on the ground. That definitely you should write then only what you are representing the examiner can understand point on the ground you just write it now let's go to the problem angle given adjacent side is given opposite side they are asking children whenever the triangle is there first find out which is a 90 degree and which is a hypotenuse side you just name it as now the side which is coming opposite to the angle is opposite side so this is your opposite side the remaining angle will be the adjacent side that is the remaining side will be the adjacent side now the question is all about the opposite side only. Opposite side you want to find adjacent side is given to you. So this is your adjacent side. So hypotenuse they are not asking you. So don't find hypotenuse. So which ratio will give you opposite and adjacent side means definitely tan theta. We all know that tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side. We know this formula already. Now we are going to apply tan the place of theta we have to take the 30 degree tan 30 degrees equal to opposite by adjacent opposite value we have h or we can say that ab also h by adjacent side we have 30 so 30 you should take now tan 30 degree value from the table 1 by root 3 which is equal to h by 30 anyway we want to find only the h value so this one division 30 if you take it to other side that will become multiplication that is 30 by root 3 we are getting. Again we have to do the rationalization because denominator should not have the root number. So we have to do the rationalization rationalizing the denominator. So h value we are getting 30 by root 3. In order to remove this root 3 we have to multiple and divide by root 3. Then only the root 3 into root 3 will be became 3. So numerator 30 into root 3 will be 30 root 3. Denominator root 3 into root 3 will be 3. So 3 table 3 ones are 3 tens are. So we can write 10 root 3. So h is equal to 10 root 3. h is nothing but height of the tower. Question is given in meter. So the answer also will be in meter only. So height of the tower is 10 meter. That's all students. Look at the fifth problem. A kite is flying at the height of 60 meter above the ground. Suppose here we have the ground. A kite is flying at the height of 60 meter. The 60 meter high. So there is a kite is flying. So here the kite the position. Now the next line. The string attached to the kite is temporarily tied to the point on the ground. On the ground. So they have joined the kite string with this point. And it makes the angle of 60 degree. The string and the ground makes 60 degree angle. Now there is no slag in the string. Assuming that there is no slag in the string. Find the length of the string they are asking. They are asking to find the length of the string. Let us take it as L. Now this is our diagram. So here. this Let us take any alphabet. Let us take A, B and C. So here A, C is nothing but our string length length of the string actually ac is going to represent the string and a is a position of the kite a is a position of the height and ab is a distance distance between the ground and the 
height we can say distance which is equal to 60 meter now listen angle is given opposite side is given to you they are asked you to find out the hypotenuse side the question is all about opposite side and hypotenuse side one is given one they are asking so you no need to worry about the another side so which ratio can be written with opposite and hypotenuse we have to think that is definitely sin theta only because sin theta is equal to opposite by hypotenuse opposite by hypotenuse that we are going to apply now now sin theta plays we have 60 degree sin 60 is equal to opposite side we have 60 and hypotenuse side we have l length of the string we have considered as l sin 60 degree value root 3 by 2 which is equal to 60 by l so this denominator l take it to another side that will become multiplication that is root 3 l which is equal to this is a division 2 take it to other side that will become multiplication that is 60 into 2 it will be now we need to multiple 60 into 2 that is root 3 l is equal to 120 we are getting now this multiplication root 3 we have to take it to other side that will become division definitely so l is equal to 120 by root 3 now we need to do the rationalization what is meant by rationalization means we need to remove the root number from the denominator here we have the sorry root 3 root 3 only here we are having so this root 3 should be removed from the denominator for that what we should do is we have to multiply and divided by root 3 then only the denominator root 3 will become multiplied with this one it will become 3 now so 120 into root 3 divided by root 3 into root 3 will give you 3 so 3 ones are 3 and 40 threes are 120 so here we are getting 40 root 3 that is your correct answer so the measure is given as meter for everything so the answer also will be in meter the length of the string used is 40 root 3 meter that is your correct answer thank you students thank you for watching if you like our video subscribe our channel for more videos